Hey guys, it's your favorite small town train, train, train girl. Just chilling out here. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm uh, doing another open public one, but I'm actually out walking, heading towards the library. Um, it's it's a route that I've taken plenty of times, but at nighttime, but it's not now. But I mean, you know, at night I wouldn't feel too comfortable taking due to the literal fact that it is a small town and I am who I am. But still used to everything. Um, everything's still good. I'm getting really, really excited for Thanksgiving tomorrow. I have not heard back from my mom or anyone that I can show up as Candace, but that's nah, screw what I'm planning to anyway. <laughs> I mean, I am who I am. I can't hide it anymore. Maybe I can a little bit just from my mom's side stakes because of my grandparents, but the simple fact that my dad's side knows about the uh, sexuality part and they're okay with it shouldn't be why they shouldn't be okay with the gender part too you know but you know there's always little little itty bitty you know butts around but <laughs> it takes its toll I'm hoping you all can hear this with the traffic but uh, if not I'll just look up with something else <laughs> anyway um, I've been sharing a lot of course um, posts on um, this whole research into allowing trans women to become pregnant possibly for the next five to ten years and um, in debt fully I like the idea and also the point where it's yeah I mean most trans women do want to end up having that motherly instinct as well and become mothers so I think it's a really great idea. Um, I know first it's not the same for some. You know, some don't want to deal with it. I mean, I think it's quite obvious from uh, my friend Kimberly Allen's comment on one of on, on her posting on it that she's just not too sure about the idea. Whereas myself, if they make it possible for trans women to become pregnant, I'd love to become a mother. Honestly, I mean, honestly with with me wanting to start transitioning um, come next year is probably the only way I'll probably end up having being a parent anyways but uh it's still it's a great idea I love the concept I love the I, I love it they're working so hard and that's coming from Cleveland of all places <laughs> hashtag yes that was a pro sports joke <laughs> but um it's just time for the next step in medicine not only for trans rights but medicine overall because if you had read the article they also had mentioned that it would be used that it's procedures currently being used to uh, allow women who uh, have had their uteruses removed or never had one to rebirth to be able to have one to be able to have kids and it's just at that point where if we can make this happen then who says we can't make the next step over and allow trans women to conceive as well? It's just, this is a really cool, great idea. I love it. And honestly, <laughs> and I can see why for some trans women that wouldn't be a good idea, they wouldn't want to go through with it. I mean, you think about it. Male to female trans women has to probably be the worst thing in the world in terms of genitalia. Think about it. When you're growing up, you probably have been kicked a couple times down there, and that hurts. But when you become female, you're allowed to give birth, that pain's probably a lot worse than the kick. <laughs> well, I'm here, so I just thought I'd give you a little short vid of my thoughts on the whole transgender pregnancy issue. Alright guys, I love you all. Until next time, bye. Mwah.